Also, guys, before I start the video, please like and subscribe. Also, want to mention thank you for helping me reach to 200 subscribers. So today, I'm going to show you how I transfer from the wheelchair to the shower chair, and also how I shower. So, so now that I'm in the restroom, I'm going to show you how I transfer. So you're going to have your wheelchair at a 45 degree angle, and then you're going to lock your brakes. I scoot forward, and then with one leg, I throw it over, just like this. And be careful because you could um, cut up your feet or, or something. So careful when you're throwing your feet over uh, the tub. What I do next is I put my hand on the seat. And my other one I have on the armrest or on the wheelchair. doesn't matter. And then I just like lift up and transfer. You can use the sliding board. doesn't matter. I might make a video on how to do that. And then you just keep sliding over. And I'll show you how I pretty much bounce myself while I'm like picking up my legs. I have my hand on the armrest and then I have my elbow behind the seat and so it's just like extra support versus like right here it's just harder to support myself so I have my elbow behind the seat now I can lift up my legs versus without this it's, it makes it harder and then you get your other leg and just pull it over for me I had to hold on to something because I have no core balance and then I just lift my leg and pull it over just like that. I also have like one of these tubs so I could put my feet in then what I do next is I just put on my, my seat strap. Because I just uh, keep sliding down and it just helps me uh, while I'm doing my hair and stuff like that. And when I went to see my doctor, they mentioned that uh, baby shampoo is actually better for your skin, especially as a paraplegic, when our skin starts sensitive and thin and weak, pretty much. I used to use this kind before. I just use the baby shampoo and you know it's pretty good you know it doesn't dry out your skin and stuff especially for me personally um, my skin gets pretty dry especially after the showers and I have the lotion on and things like that these shower heads are pretty good it tells uh, when you're showering the long heads when I'm ingesting the water and I'm waiting for it to heat up I just like uh, put some shampoo in the foot tub and I just fill up the tub until it just starts to heat up for my body. Then I like to use these. It's just what they give you at the hospitals. And then you have like the body scrubs. And then I just, uh, you know, put a couple squirts in or whatever. And then I just fill it in with the uh, warm water. And then I just start cleaning myself. Then for your feet, I like to use uh, just a foot scrub. Um, it just helps. I know it's pretty hard to lift up your feet in the beginning, especially when I was learning. Um, what I like to do is just lift up my leg. I cross it over, then I just uh, get the foot scrub and I just start cleaning and stuff. I put this, the shampoo on and I just clean my feet and then I put it back in the tub and just let it soak. So I'm going to show you how I pick up things if I drop my shampoo bottle or like my foot scrub. So if I drop something, what I like to do is uh, have my hand on the bathtub itself and then pick it up and then pull myself up or you could have your hand on your knee. And then like pick things up or lean forward and stuff like that because in the beginning it was pretty hard uh, to pick up things I used to use my foot scrub and like try to reach it to have like a uh, like grabbers and stuff like that but I don't need that no more um, but that's good if you're starting off and also for the seat I like to have like the backrest like uh, more higher up versus like the lower ones uh, that's why my wheelchair personally is more of a higher back versus like the lower one where it's just like barely even like supports your back because I'm paralyzed up here and I need the, the back support um it's hard for me to sit up uh if I just keep falling back but for my hair I just like have my back against the backrest and then I just do my hair and then also like I mentioned I have the, the velcro belt for the chair it just helps keep me from sliding down especially when it's wet and like I was also mentioning about this um this is pretty good you know you could like um rinse yourself off your head and things like that and then um, after I'm done, I just rinse it out and I just hang it back up. Same with this. I also like to have a towel just like on my armrest uh, so when I'm done, so I'm not like um, dripping all over my wheelchair. Um, so like when I'm done, I empty everything in my foot tub. Uh, I just empty that out so it can dry up for the next time I shower. And then I just clean myself, you know, I clean my head. Um, my legs, I try to clean up best as I can. What I like to do, I, I like to put uh, my towel in my wheelchair so I'm not soaking up my seat. Um, and I just grab on one end and I just flick it over, just like that. And now I could uh, transfer without getting my seat wet. And then to transfer back, what you do is you hold on to the, to the railing. And then, uh, like I was mentioning, for me personally, it helps have my arm wrapped around the, the seat. And then I just uh, lift my leg over. I have 
this one's still right there. And then I have my hand on the C or on the, the armrest. It doesn't matter. Everybody has their own preference. Have your other hand on the C right here. Lift up, scoot over, fix your legs, put it on the footrest. Then with this other one, grab it, pull it over, just like this. And then I like to finish dry off my legs um, when I'm in my bed. I like to uh, undress before I shower. It just makes things easier versus uh, if you're in your wheelchair, especially if you're starting out. Um, it is pretty hard. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and also share. And I'll see you next time. Bye.